Good morning. Hey, I'm excited, but still I'm sitting here waiting until my yogurt place opens up to deliver yogurt. I'm here in the mall, but something that's burdened on my heart about uh, being baptized as I have a precious daughter that's um, excited to hear that one of their kids wants to get baptized. And there's no greater joy to know that your kids are following the Lord and love the Lord and involved in church. Um, it's not just going to church, but um, you know, walking the Word, um, living by what the Word says. And I love Acts 2. I am a believer in Acts 2. I am a believer in, in prophecy and prophetic word and speaking in other tongues. Um, also a believer that you call upon the name and that name is Jesus so if you know Jesus and you want to call upon that name in any situation any issues that you go through life call upon that name it's powerful very powerful I don't care are there demons coming against you enemies or is it health or is it in any crisis call upon Jesus because he will set you free he will help you through life <clears throat> and back to the baptism when I was talking about baptizing um, you know uh, baptism is just a symbolic thing showing to the public that you want to be free and you want to be a follower of Jesus so when you want to be free is and I always look at it when you go down in the water you're being cleansed you're being purified you're being purged of the old and coming up new as Christ was risen again new and then he goes on to say that he's done great things but he said we will even do greater things than what he did and I'm like wow this is powerful this is so much power in this so I'm so excited even though I gotta sit here and wait but I think about the goodness of God uh, what he's done in my life and how I can prosper with him because I can do nothing of myself, but it's only through him. So my point in this whole thing is not to condemn anybody, but I just pray that a lot of people's eyes will be opened up because being baptized is one thing, being full of the Holy Ghost is another thing, and to prophesy and to witness the love of Jesus to wherever you go. Because I have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I deliver ice cream and yogurt and so even in gas stations I ask the question do you know Jesus or sometimes they'll be up at the counter with a case of beer and I will ask the question are you having Bible study tonight it's just the open conversation of um, opening up and their response is me having Bible study with a case of beer oh no not really but you know hey do you know the Lord do you guys study the Bible do you know Jesus have you experienced his love? So there's so many opportunities to open up, to pray for, you know, uh, one that is hurting, to let God direct you to the ones that are hurting and to just speak into their lives. You might think you're not valuable. You don't have a testimony. I can't pray. I can't preach. I don't know the word. I don't think you have to. I believe God will qualify you. I believe God will give you words and affirmation to pray and to speak to those that are around you or to wherever you go to. Is it work, public, um, out on the streets or on your walk, wherever it may be. So back to the baptism. I'm excited to hear my, my granddaughter getting baptized here in a week and a half. Um, it's just exciting time and it just yeah blesses me to hear that my kids walk into that and then my grandkids want to follow it's just wow it's amazing god is good and i say keep on smiling because jesus loves you regardless where you're at in life and what you're doing it's a matter of do we turn to him and seek his face i think of the verse <clears throat> Uh, in Second Chronicles, uh, I think it's seven fourteen, where he says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek my face and pray, I will heal their land. I will heal their diseases. And there's so many times that I can relate to that. You know, there's times when I feel like I was going to vomit. I was going to be sick. I felt like there's something coming over me. And I would just cry out, Lord, heal me. Heal me in Jesus name 
because the Bible says it over and over and over again, there's power in his name. And what is his name? I think too many times we forget Jesus is his name. So it's exciting. And I love these opportunities of being able to share wherever I'm at, praying for people, speaking uh, to them about the love of Jesus, because there's a lot of people that have no hope. They feel like they're done and gone and forgotten and they have no hope. But there is hope and it's exciting. Love you guys. Be blessed.